What's up guys? Today we're going to learn how to use our new permanent heat transfers. This is pretty revolutionary if you've been wanting to put images on shoes with good durability. No paint or art skills are required here and these transfers are great for clothing so they're definitely worth checking out. One thing to note is that this application process is very particular so it's going to be super important to follow this exact method when applying them to get the best permanent results. All we're going to need here is a mini iron and piece of parchment paper to get the job done and the parchment paper will be included in your purchase. First things first, we're going to set our mini iron to a medium heat setting and no higher. If the mini iron gets too hot, it could cause melting and peeling of the transfer. I've also noticed that when the iron is left sitting unused, it tends to heat up even more than it should, so make sure to turn it off when not in use and on again when you're going to apply your next transfer. We highly recommend that you guys apply our transfer adhesion promoter as the transfer will have something extra to stick onto and give you really good sticking results if you're having trouble with that down the line. This will minimize any sticking issues that you may face without it. Once our mini iron is hot, we're going to apply our transfer to the desired area and run our mini iron over the center just to initially get it to stick in place. From there, we're going to place our parchment paper over the transfer and begin our press method. Your first instinct is going to be to do circular motions over the transfer, but don't do it. I repeat, do not do it. The transfer needs to be press activated, so you'll need to apply heavy pressure to each section of the transfer for 10 seconds at a time. Repeat this press method for 10 seconds in each area of the transfer until you've covered the whole thing. This is the most important step of the application process, so here's some tips on how to get perfect results. We recommend that you don't press over the entire transfer more than two times, meaning once you've covered all areas once, you can repeat this one more time, but not a third time to avoid burning or color peeling of the transfer. Too much heat will affect the end result, so we want to try and get the transfer to stick in two presses. Also make sure your mini iron is at a medium heat setting and not too hot. Most, if not all, mistakes made when applying these is too many presses or that the mini iron is too hot. All it takes is a medium heated iron and a minimal set of pressing to get great results. Another very important thing is to let the transfer cool for one minute before peeling. So again, they should be peeled cool and not hot. To remove the plastic, we're going to sort of bend one corner or section and roll the film off the transfer to avoid any unsticking or color peeling. You'll notice that the transfer is shiny after peeling and if you like it this way, you can keep it this way. But if you want to make the transfer for matte and improve its durability, you're going to want to place the parchment paper over it once more and do our same press method for 5 seconds to remove the gloss and permanently set it in place. Once you remove the paper, your transfer should be matte and is permanently set in place. It can withstand scratching with your nails or even an X-Acto knife and is also repellent against water. <laughs> When applying to areas like the swoosh or other spots that have uneven surfaces, make sure you press around the dips of the shapes. For example, this transfer was pressed around and on the swoosh to ensure it's stuck around areas lower than the swoosh. I recommend using a heat gun to remove the shine and set it in place as it'll morph around the shape more once it's hot. Let's take a look at the entire process one more time. Let's get into some possible mistakes you can make if not applying correctly. I'm going to go ahead and use the iron directly over the transfer with no parchment paper, use circular motions, and apply a bit too much heat by running over the transfer more than two times. Once we take it off, you'll see ripping and color chipping due to too much heat and lack of pressure. It's important to use as little heat as possible and press firmly to avoid mistakes like this. If you do happen to mess up like this, you can simply use another transfer right over it to cover up the defected detail. For use on clothing, the process is very simple. All we need to do is place our transfers on the desired area, set a piece of parchment paper over it, heat our press to 310 degrees, and press for 7 seconds. You'll need to let the transfer cool for about 1 minute before peeling away the plastic with our same bend and roll method. There's going to be some shine after the initial press, so we'll need to place our clothing piece back in the press, set parchment paper over it, and press for 4 seconds. The transfer should be more matte and stuck in place. Let's do a quick wash test and see how they hold up. And they look good as new. 